Hi, Paul with Diode Dynamics, taking a look at our DRL harness for the C lights on the WRX and STI. Now, as you can see, we've already installed the LEDs and they're lighting up in that nice bright white for the parking lights. We're gonna add DRL functionality with our new and improved DRL wiring harness. This is just one harness needed per vehicle and it's gonna plug directly into the DRL resistor right about here under the headlight and it's gonna to run to each headlight driver. Now, you do have to get underneath the vehicle, so we're gonna jack it up to give you a better shot, but you can do this directly on the ground. All you need is a flat head or a trim tool to remove three plastic screws, and then it's completely plug and play. It should take about 15 or 20 minutes. Let's get started. So we're looking right underneath the uh, front bumper here. You can see there's the passenger wheel. Um, we just have to remove three locking screws, two here and one at the corner here. So for each one, you're just gonna need that flat head or trim tool, it'll pop out that screw. They can be a little tight, but they're just gonna come right out, pop the uh, main part out and pull down. We're gonna do all three. And then once you have these out, you should be able to go ahead and pull down on the main uh, wheel well, or I guess uh, bottom cover here. And we're gonna be looking straight up at the DRL resistor up here. So we're looking straight up now, and you can see the connector we're gonna be working with with the brown clip here. It's connected to our, the DRL resistor, which is this silver piece. Now you'll see it's actually clipped in to the body piece here. So we're gonna push out on the other side. You might need to squeeze the tabs together with that screwdriver, but you should be able to just push it straight out. Then flip it over because we need to really see the locking piece here. It's a positive lock, which means you don't push down to unclip it. We're gonna pull up to unclip it. So you can do this with your finger. It's not too hard, but you just have to lift up on this clip here and then pull the pieces apart. So now you'll notice on your new wiring harness that you get, that's the exact same connector. So we're gonna plug the wiring harness into this side. Make sure you have it in there correctly. Then you'll be able to clip it right in. Again, that positive lock. You can just leave this hanging and then untwist the wires here. And we're going to be seeing that there's one short wire and one long wire. So we're gonna take the short one directly up to the headlight and the long one run to the other side of the vehicle. Okay, so we're gonna grab the wires that we fished up here. There's one and the other. And so our long one is gonna go to this side with a short one. You can go ahead and find the wire that's coming from the driver. It looks almost the same. It's gonna be a male though to our female from the harness. We'll plug that in, clean that up. Now we can take the long wire, head over to the other side. Same thing, we got a wire coming from the driver. I'm gonna plug that in. Of course, we're gonna clean up all this wiring, but first, we're gonna test it out. So we're gonna test everything out now, but we have to have the car running to see the DRLs in action. So go ahead and start the car. And then you're also gonna have to drop your e-brake to get your DRLs turned on. And you should see right away, you got a nice bright DRL function. And then when you turn on your headlights, you'll still get them dimming down. So that's one nice thing about this C-Lite product is that you have two running modes dim mode when the headlights are on, and then you're back to DRLs at full brightness during the day. We're now just gonna go ahead and get the wires cleaned up, get all the screws fastened underneath, and that'll complete the installation. As you can see, it's just three connections, totally plug and play, and now we have the two different brightness settings and the full-time DRL, and that's gonna replace the factory DRL. These bulbs are still gonna turn on as a high beam, but now this LED is your DRL. And of course, with our sea lights, you have a nice bright amber switchback mode as well. You can find this product online at diodynamics.com or use our dealer locator to find it at a dealer near you. Thanks for watching.